ओम शांति ओम शांति और शी इज ही इज डीन ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर राजवीर शेखावत और प्रेसिडेंट आल्सो हैज ज्वाइन जीके सर वन मिनट आई या ही इज आवर डॉक्टर जीके प्रभु ही इज आवर प्रेसिडेंट मणिपाल यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर डॉक्टर नीतू भटनागर शी इज रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ मणिपाल यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर इट्स माई प्लेजर टू वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द फिफ्थ टॉक ऑफ एक्सट्रामल सीरीज ऑफ ऑन एनहांसिंग इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस by divine sister bk shivani ji i welcome dr gk prabhu honorable president of manipal university jaipur uh, divine sister bk shivani ji indian spiritual educator and inspirational speaker dr nn sharma pro president of manipal university jaipur dr neetu bhatnagar registrar manipal university jaipur dr rajveer shekhawat dean faculty of engineering Commodore Dr. Jawahar Jangir, Provost Manipal University Jaipur, Dr. Amit Soni, all deans, directors, heads, faculty members, and students, I welcome you all for this session, and it's my honor to introduce Divine Sister B K Shivani ji. Sister B K Shivani is an Indian spiritual educator and inspirational speaker. She has been a practitioner of Raj Yoga Foundation, Raj Yoga Meditation. of the brahma kumaris for over 24 years her practical application of spiritual principles on the tv program awakening with brahma kumaris for over 14 years has empowered people to overcome issues of emotional distress depression and relationship conflicts in march 2019 she was awarded the prestigious nari shakti puraskar the highest civilian honor for women in india for her role in transforming human behaviors she has been appointed as goodwill ambassador by the world psychiatrist association she is an electronics engineer with a gold medal from pune university now i request our honorable president dr gk prabhu sir to welcome sister shivani ji and share a brief about Manipal University Jaipur and Manipal Group sir over to you sir okay so sabhi ko namaskar and uh, uh, today is uh, the speaker and the guest uh, sister uh, shivani ji and all my colleague friends student friends and uh, the audience of this uh, extra mural lecture once again it is my pleasure uh, to to welcome Uh, to this is a very important uh, event of this university so shivani ji so thank you very much for accepting uh, our invitation and uh, making yourself available uh, for our uh, students as well as the faculty today and uh, yes uh, about uh, manipal group manipal group uh, is known for education and health care manipal is a place actually it is in the southern part of uh, india in karnataka and the, on the bank of uh, arabian uh, uh, sea and our doctor uh, our founder dr t m a pai uh, who established this this particular place as an educational town in 1953 the first ever uh, private medical college was uh, launched by this group and uh, then there are many colleges including the engineering college which you may be knowing uh, manipal institute of technology uh, which produced a lot of uh, the eminent uh, the leaders including satya nadella of microsoft raju suri of uh, nokia and banwali agarwal of uh, tata sons and g earlier and uh, even raju chandrashekaran who is an mp today and minister so many of these people in the wide variety that he uh, this particular institution has produced and i was also fortunate 
to uh, become an a student of MIT for my post graduation, and also became the director of that institution when the institution celebrated its 60th year. And uh, after that, I, I uh, relocated to our own assistant concern in Jaipur in Rajasthan. So this group, after establishing many institutions in uh, uh, Manipal, have established many other campuses. And uh, even in Mangalore, Bangalore, that we have a new campus. And we have uh, a campus in Jamshedpur. We have in Sikkim. We have one campus in Nepal. And, uh, and three campuses in Malaysia. And one in Dubai. And one campus in uh, uh, in uh, Arabian uh, so Caribbean islands in US in uh, 2011. So 10 years back, Rajasthan government has given an invitation for uh, the Manipal group to establish a new university here in uh, Jaipur and Rajasthan. On the invitation that we came here and established this Manipal University Jaipur. So this year is a very important year for us. Is about uh, we are celebrating the decennial year, ten years of an uh, organization. Although the group is about sixty years old, but uh, as a campus of Jaipur, we are celebrating our tenth year now. And we started with the one program in engineering of about uh, two hundred students, and today we have five different faculties and 60 different programs and uh, we have 10,000 students in the campus, 10,000. And we also have uh, a greater uh, uh, the plan to grow and along with the campus-based program, we also got an opportunity from last year to launch an online degree program also and within a year, we have an additional 10,000 for an online degree program. And uh, yes, when the invitation come from the government, we also have an additional responsibility, not only in the numbers, but also in the quality. And we went for the NAC accreditation. And two years back, we were so happy that uh, Manipal University Jaipur became the first ever university in entire Rajasthan uh, to become the A plus accreditation by the NAC. So this has created a lot of enthusiasm among our faculty and student. And this is the one campus when we built it, we learned every of the, the knowledge and experience of the other campuses and we built a green campus. The whole campus is the laboratory for us because when the students be in the campus, they also study what is a green campus and what, how we have to take care about the nature and uh, the nearby people and many other things, even the birds and the plants and all. So it would have been better, uh, uh, Sister Shivaniji, you could have come and visited us and given this lecture here. But because of many constraints, whether it is a pandemic, travel discomfort, we thought that we will do this session on virtual mode. But definitely, uh, it is uh, our request to you, uh, we please visit us. And also, it is not only we are showcasing our physical infrastructure, although this is one of the beautiful campuses, but what is so important is the showcasing a very committed faculty members and a very vibrant student community. And this is something which is very important. And when we thought that we will celebrate this decennial year, what else we can do it? Of course, conferences and the student fest, we keep doing it. But we thought this is the idea which came from my faculty as well as student to have an extra mural lectures. And we keep inviting many people and who are uh, good in their own field. It is not only an educational sciences. It could have been any mountaineering, mountaineering or a film actor or a, a player or uh, the people like you. So everyone will come and talk to us and inspire all, all the, the, the faculty as well as the student. And this is the one thing that which we wanted and we started, uh, but we thought that we will continue that. And this is not only restricted for the 10th the year and uh, this will continue uh, long. And of course, as you know, today, 
the students and faculty are undergoing many stress levels whether it is related to the education whether it is related to any kind of a peer pressure or it could be a relation relation tip management things and all everyone is undergoing these kind of a problems and the best ever solution today is uh, apart from an academics which as a teacher we are capable of doing it but today which is more important along with the uh, iq very important thing is an eq and today this emotional connect it is a very very important and we thought that you and you are the right people of course we keep hearing your lectures in the many uh, forums many medias but this is an again is a very important for us to invite you here and talk to us and um, and if there are some uh, queries which my faculty and student have it would be a very pleasure to hear you because i i keep hearing you uh, in the many forums and as uh, madhura ji mentioned and a uh, few years back uh, uh, i attended one of the conferences in the mount abu and uh, organized by your uh, organization and uh, then soon after that we thought that our annual retreat has to be there in mount abu and uh, nearly about a uh, 40 leaders uh, from that we went to mount abu and of course your organization and madhura ji has arranged um to make us a a short visit to all the facilities which you have created there uh, both in the in the the abu road as well as in the mount, mount abu in that so we were totally impressed okay and this is the basic intention uh, to have as a part of our decennial area celebration but it will continue and today it would be our pleasure to have you with us and uh, talk to us and especially on the emotional connect and the kind of the stress level and the confusion that everyone is going through including me okay so we require such kind of uh, support and uh, uh, do think thinking calmly and being composed and take the discussion forward problems are there how to live with the problems failures are there how to embrace this kind of a failures but still moving on life must move on and uh, the tag line for manipal is inspired by life and this was given by our founder and uh, and today we are very happy to have you but once again shivani ji it is our humble request please visit us because in the in the campus please be with us and also interact with our faculty and student i'm sure that you will uh, uh, also enjoy that in this whole process with this uh, uh, brief introduction once again i have a great pleasure to welcome you and very excited to hear you uh, for, uh, uh, for for the session and definitely very happy also to hear the interactions of the faculty students along with you thank you very much and have a great day sister shivani ji namaskar thank you so much sir Uh, now i request uh, sister shivani ji to start her talk on emotional intelligence shukriya om shanti om shanti like very powerfully explained and very beautifully expressed that all of us take care and work extremely hard on creating miracles in our life and whatever intention we create we are able to manifest it and so within a span of 5 years 10 years sorry you have been able to create a miracle a university recognized not just by the state but also by the country a university which has now more than 10000 students who are getting prepared getting prepared to become the leaders of tomorrow and leader would mean a leader in any faculty in any profession even a parent a head of a family is a leader a leader means who takes charge take charge in situations takes care of people it requires leadership quality and so this is a proof to all of us that whenever we create a thought whenever we have an intention to do something we are able to do it beyond our own capacity and so if you look back 10 years you would say really 
did all this happen in 10 years only that we started with 500 and we are more than 10000 today that we have a green campus that we have something which is recognized by the whole country and the world how did all this happen in just 10 years and which means anything can happen anything can happen all that it requires is a pure intention determination and then of course efforts sincerity and efforts now let's look at the same quality but use it to also create miracles inside if we look at miracles outside the world is flooded with miracles the world is flooded with miracles so many things we look at and we'll say how did they do this how did they do this how did they make this happen so there are miracles outside but now let's look at the mind let's look at the mind because who created all these miracles all these miracles were created by a mind it is a mind who comes up with the idea it is a mind who works with it it's a lot of minds who join that idea and a lot of minds put together create that miracle but who created the miracle a human mind but the human mind invested all its energy in creating the miracle outside and it made a miracle now if this mind can focus outside and create miracles if this mind had to focus also on the mind itself would it not be able to create a miracle there which one do we think is easier creating a miracle outside or creating a miracle within the mind which one is easier actually it should be the one inside because you don't have to do much you just have to take care here when it comes to creating a miracle outside it's not just we there are so many factors that have to come into place creating a university setting it up creating a campus having children coming it's not just the mind of the person who had the idea there are so many factors challenges obstacles that come in the way but if we had to create a miracle inside there are no obstacles because inside no obstacle can enter obstacles are all outside they can't inside in enter inside my mind so actually the one which is easier is actually creating a miracle inside creating a miracle outside is actually a tough one there are a lot of factors like you would have planned something for these two years covid came you had to change suddenly you had to adapt you have to adjust because it's a factor not in our control but when it comes to inside we just have to think have an intention determination and the miracle will manifest now let's ask ourselves why are we not wanting to create a miracle inside why are we living a life which is saying stress is normal anger is normal fear is normal anxiety is normal criticism and comparison is normal worry is normal these are not miracles these are opposite of miracles these are very painful emotions these are very painful emotions these are not happy emotions and reaching a stage where today people are saying oh i'm very depressed the other person saying it's okay depression is normal nowadays it's become very common is this our definition of success is this our definition of success are we studying so hard are we working so hard so that tomorrow when we actually reach a stage where we are going to use all our hard work and our efforts and we are going to come out and become leaders in what we are doing and we achieve there also so there also we create miracles in what we are doing but along with that we start saying diabetes is normal depression is normal divorce to hota rehta hai aajkal then why is it how is it that we are going to call ourselves successful so the first and foremost thing that i would request every child to do today every student and of course all our esteemed faculty introspect what is the meaning of success because probably the time has come to change the definition of success because for the last couple of decades somewhere some influence i don't know we won't need to talk about from where that influence comes but that influence somewhere conditioned us to believe that an achiever is successful so you come first they'll say oh you're very successful you're very successful someone doesn't get good marks they'll say average no good someone gets just doesn't pass say oh failure in life now this is a label and this is a conditioning it does not mean that achievement is not important is extremely important performance is extremely important but to say that the one who achieves is success and the one who doesn't achieve is failure which means that the focus of society became only on one thing in life and that is performance 
performance perform 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 whether you are in school whether you are in college whether you are in your profession we are only performing 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 which is very important but while performing we are forgetting the person we are forgetting the person we are forgetting the value of the person somebody might not get very good marks but what if they have very beautiful sanskars what if they are a very caring sharing person what if they cooperate with everybody what if they go out of their way to help others what if they are always calm and peaceful what if they are stable in a crisis can you really call that a failure how many of us are able to do that today one little word one little line from somewhere and we get stressed but we call ourselves successful because we come first in class but somebody is very calm stable but does not get very good marks we say failure which means performance is success person doesn't matter who you are now in the last 2 years all the webinars and all the interactions that we have been doing one requirement or one realization i would say that is coming from every professional field so whether it's a business industry a corporate house a hospital a jurist community chartered accountants everybody that we've interacted with and of course teachers and of course every parent one thing that's come out very important we need emotionally strong people we need emotionally strong people which means high eq which means high emotional intelligence these are words these were words even before covid but nobody paid so much attention to it it was like one chapter in the management book or something that was talked about in programs and conferences but in real life in practical life nobody was talking about it everybody was still talking only about performance and suddenly came covid and we saw fear anxiety and panic going to the rise we saw people who did not have covid their family nobody had covid they were safe within homes but they were getting panic attacks they were getting anxiety attacks the mental health issue in the country which is anyways very high in these two years went like this went very very high now the figures are so high that i don't even want to talk about them because that itself will create a fear that's how high the figures are so every organization now says we need emotionally strong people which means people who will be able to remain calm in a crisis they will be able to remain stable they will be ready able to be able to take a team rather than panic and blame each other and worrying that's not emotionally strong now they might want emotionally strong people who is going to create those emotionally strong children so that will have to go back to an educational institution so your role your responsibility is actually going to get a little bigger now because the requirement of society is not just intelligent people but also strong people strong people not whose egos are so high that they get offended with the slightest word said by somebody but who are calm and stable even if something has not gone right even if someone has not behaved the right way so now our syllabus probably would touch a few topics like this even in school we have life skills and even in college we have self management but it's not going to be just a syllabus it's not just going to be a chapter it has to be a culture it has to be a way of living it cannot be taught from books it has to be a way of living how we live how we talk to each other how we behave it's a culture that will need to be groomed and when a child lives in that culture and then comes out of their school or their college or their university they're already groomed to becoming like that so it's a sanskar it's a sanskar there are three words sanskar which is my nature sanskriti which is our culture and sansar which is our world today we want to change our world we say ye dik thik nahi hai ye thik nahi hai this needs to change that needs to change and we are looking at only changing it outside even like so beautifully shared about the green campus extremely important from the environmental point of view but you know what even if we created a green campus even if we take care of all the resources on the planet if we don't take care of our emotions we are constantly radiating stress anxiety worry to the air to the water to the plants to the trees to everything so in every aspect of our life the seed the seed of our life is here this is the seed every thought we create from here grows the tree of our life 
So the tree would be the body, which means the health of the body also gets influenced from here. And that's why doctors say most illnesses are psychosomatic. So the health of our body also gets affected from the thoughts and feelings I create. My feelings obviously get affected by what I think. So my mental health gets affected. My physical health gets affected. Like brother so sweetly said about relationships. Because every thought I create, it reaches the other person. It takes time to pick up the phone, type a message, send it across to them. For them to pick up their phone, read the message, this all takes time. But the minute you have created a thought for somebody, it's energy. Energy doesn't sit blocked inside. It radiates, it vibrates and it reaches to people. Sometimes we experience telepathy that I called you up and you were about to call me up. And it's like, how did you call me up? So we experience this once in a while, but it's happening always. It's happening always. Our every thought is reaching people. We try to create perfect relationships based on our behavior and what we do for each other. And yet one word and there's a misunderstanding. One word and we are arguing with each other and we say like, I do so much for you. Why are you still not happy? Because I am not happy inside. So I'm not always radiating happy vibrations to you. So relationships have become stressful. And then it's our mind which does, does our work. So our professional health, our financial health is based on the quality of our thoughts and our environmental health because our vibrations are going to all the elements of nature. So everything, our mental, physical, social, which means relationships, professional health, financial health, environmental health, everything is from here. And this is one part of life where we are not taking care and we are saying stress is normal, anxiety is normal. So whatever is normal here is what is going to radiate to all these health, to all these health. And that's why WHO said, first and foremost, fundamental foundation, spiritual health. Spiritual health means the state of my mind, the state of my mind. Because when we hear the word spiritual, many of us, especially children will say, oh, I'm not interested in all this. It's too early for me. I'm too young for all this. Spiritual only means taking care of your mind. It means nothing else. It does not mean you have to change the color of the clothes you wear. It does not mean you have to stop doing what you are doing. It only means along with doing everything that you are doing, you are going to start taking care of your mind so that everything that you do will go to another level altogether. It go to another level altogether because you are happy and doing it. Not you are stressed and depressed and doing everything that you are doing. What's the point of achieving and not being happy? What's the point of that life? Where we are achieving but we are not happy. We are achieving but our relationships are crumbling. That's not called happiness. That's not called success. So like brother said about stress, simple formula in physics. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Now keep that formula with you for the rest of your life. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Pressures, many, many pressures. So peer pressure, exam pressure, performance pressure, relationship pressure. Even COVID is a pressure, which means a situation which was not my way suddenly. So COVID is a pressure. But stress is not equal to pressure. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Now what we have done, we have ignored the denominator. So we ignored the denominator. So every time the pressure was a little higher, we said stress is normal. We said stress is normal. Stress is not normal. Stress depends on the denominator also, not depends only on the numerator. So emotional quotient means increasing the denominator. Resilience. Resilience means my inner power, my power to cope with that pressure. Same exam. Same exam. Everyone has studied throughout the year. Same college, same teacher, same exam. Some student gets very stressed and some student is very calm and stable. So which means the stimulus is the same for everybody, but the ability to respond is different. So the problem is not with the exam. The problem is with my coping capacity towards the exam. So denominator. So now from today onwards, we're going to start working on the denominator. Focus on the denominator resilience resilience and that is a high eq that is a high emotional intelligence so first is stress equation second now what does it mean to be emotionally intelligent which means to know that in every situation 
what is the right way of thinking what is the right way of comes covid what is the right way of thinking in there and the world said fear and anxiety is normal just pause and ask yourself if there is a crisis outside is fear and anxiety a normal emotion does fear and anxiety help us to cross a crisis in a better manner and yet we said fear and anxiety is normal and normal bol bol ke we did not keep it as anxiety it became an anxiety disorder for many people because it was fear and anxiety for more than a year almost 2 years now a human mind can cope up with fear and anxiety for a few hours for a few days for a few weeks not for years we cannot that is when it becomes a mental health issue so emotionally intelligent means you know how to respond right in every situation you are intelligent to know which emotion to create when for how much time and when to change that is emotionally intelligent so for that the second equation i am the creator of my every thought feeling word and behavior write this down also for the rest of your life it seems a very easy equation i am the creator of my every thought feeling word and behavior wo to i know what is new in this yes i know and yet throughout my life i keep saying i'm angry because of them i'm stressed because of this i'm happy because of this i'm peaceful because of this one i'm hurt because of this one they are very irritating they upset me they disrespected me they dis- uh, they insulted me what does this vocabulary mean this vocabulary says that whatever i'm feeling inside is because of what is happening outside this is low emotional intelligence because nobody can create our emotions thoughts and feelings things can happen outside it's the stimulus but they cannot get into my mind and create my thoughts and feelings i am the creator of my thoughts and feelings so high eq means we become emotionally independent right now we are dependent be nice to me so that i will be happy the height of our dependency you wake up in the morning and you look at your social media handles and the number of likes there the kind of comments there and that's how the mood is going to be at the beginning of the day that is our height of dependency right now on the world that i wake up happy but i see one comment or just a few less likes than what i was expecting and i go down so where is my ability to create my thoughts and feelings i become completely emotionally dependent so check yourself during the day are you responding to situations with stability or you just reacting depending on what is the quality of the situation depending on what is the behavior of the person if people are nice to you you're very nice but if people are not nice to you or people don't behave your way you react and you call it normal that is low emotional intelligence people will behave according to their sanskar we will respond according to our sanskar that remind is being taken charge by myself not being controlled by other people nobody else has the remote control to my mind this is emotional quotient so write that equation i am the creator of my every thought feeling word and behavior and from this moment shift from becoming a victim saying oh because of them i'm feeling like this sometimes we wake up in the morning open the window and we say oh the weather is so depressive weather cannot create my depression weather is what the weather is now it's up to me how i want to feel so that is a vocabulary which needs to change it does not mean that today immediately you will stop getting angry or hurt or upset no you'll still get angry but when you get angry now you will not say it's because of them that vocabulary has to change because the minute i say it's because of them i'm giving my power away to the other person and then say you have the ability to make me angry no i shift that to say what they did was not right and i created the anger i created the anger so the next time i know i have a choice whether to create anger whether to create irritation whether to create impatience or whether to just stability listen to what they are saying respond with dignity be more peaceful be soft in what i'm saying and yet be assertive and strict because work needs to get done so we need to be disciplinary strict assertive 
but not angry aggressive which means don't waste your energy conserve your energy and get work done and this is something which every student needs to practice now before they actually become what they're going to be in their professional fields so people cannot enter my mind and create my emotions so second equation is very important that i am the creator of my every thought feeling word and behavior third thing very important we need to know which are normal emotions which are normal emotions because emotional intelligence means emotionally healthy high emotional immunity prepare two columns stress is an emotional illness it's not normal it's an emotional disease disease means my mind shifts from the position of ease it is dis ease when i'm angry i shift from my position of ease it is dis ease even my body shifts from its position of ease you start feeling acidity you start feeling nausea hands start sweating mouth starts drying before an interview or before a public talk what is the meaning of all this my mind shifted from ease so stress is a disease an emotional disease it's not a physical disease it's not a mental health issue it's an emotional disease there's no doctor for this there's no doctor specialization for this we ourselves are going to diagnose ourselves and we're going to start healing ourselves but we need to know which emotion is normal so stress is an emotional disease calm and stability is normal it's normal anger is an emotional disease i lose control over myself respect dignity assertive discipline assertive strict discipline with respect and dignity that is normal complaining तो कुछ लोगों को शिकायत करने की बहुत आदत होती है दिस इज नॉट राइट दैट इज नॉट राइट ये अच्छा नहीं है वो अच्छा नहीं है फीडबैक इज डिफरेंट कंप्लेनिंग इज एन एनर्जी डिप्लीटर ग्रैटिट्यूड आई एम श्योर वीव हर्ड सो मेनी कोट्स विच सेड ग्रैटिट्यूड इज एन एटीट्यूड सो ग्रैटिट्यूड डज नॉट मीन एवरीथिंग इन माई लाइफ इज परफेक्ट इट्स एन एटीट्यूड टू बी ग्रेटफुल फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव बिकॉज इट इंक्रीजेज माई इमोशनल क्वेश्चन इट बिल्ड अप माई एनर्जी हियर क्रिटिसिजम talking ill about people gossiping about people if today even one day you don't gossip about anybody just one day don't gossip about anybody which means don't talk about people's weakness their illness their problem don't talk about anything negative about people by the end of the day your battery is going to be charged here because large part of this battery is wasted only because of talking about other people and not in a very nice manner why are they like this why did they do this they shouldn't have done that they should have done it's so easy to talk about other people use that same energy on how i should be how i should be not how they should be how i should be so criticism and energy depleter appreciation motivation emotional health comparison which was always there but with social media comparison went to another level altogether is a big 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 energy depleter big big energy depleter is comparison self respect i know who i am i know my strengths i know my weaknesses but i stand by my values and principles and what i understand is right my maryada the maryada of my family but if i keep on changing just because how people are and how people want me to be i change simple things like the way i dress up what i eat what i drink how i behave my vocabulary my language my mannerisms so much changes only because oh people are like that so i should also be cool like them otherwise i'm very boring and i'm very old fashioned this is peer pressure which means i'm changing from who i am only because people around me are a different way and they accept me which means they approve of me if i change so social media has increased two sanskars one is comparison and second is dependent on people to feel good please like me because only then i'm good and if you don't like me then i'm not good so then i have to do something for which you will like me i have to do something for which you will like me and so that is an energy depleter competition comparison jealousy low emotional intelligence self respect cooperation cooperation is a natural sanskar be happy when other people do well 
say a prayer and a blessing for somebody when they do well see how beautiful it's going to make you feel so there is a whole long list like this this is an emotional illness this is natural emotions so start using the natural ones more during the day not the ones the world is calling normal because the more the world is calling that normal the more we are going down so now we're not talking stress now we talk about anxiety and depression because we call stress normal had we not called stress normal today we would be finishing our stress but today we've crossed the stage of stress also so never call a disturbed emotion as normal it is not normal it's a disturbance it's a shift from a position of ease and then always remember the normal emotions use them more use them more it's more important to know what is normal we all always ask but what is the normal ones and the normal and then we start using it so we need to know which column is normal fourth thing how to start making this a part of our daily life we need simple lifestyle changes it's all a lifestyle issue like physical health is a lot of lifestyle issues emotional health is also a lot of lifestyle issues and it's very nice that you as students are today here ready ready next 10 minutes i want you to listen very carefully i request you to listen very carefully and just don't think whether ye kaise hoga kya hoga it's all very simple because but you are conditioned to living a certain way since many years but if you want to increase your concentration power if you want to be focused if you want to become a leader leader by qualities not only by position and role but leader by qualities if you want to have a high eq because which will anyways make you achieve more than your capacity then you really need to make few lifestyle changes the first lifestyle change which is extremely important is content consumption content consumption emotional health is created based on our emotional diet emotional diet and what is emotional diet what i watch what i read what i listen these are three things which go into me what i watch what i read what i listen it goes inside it creates my thoughts then it creates my responses to life and that creates my emotional intelligence so if we and all the faculty who are here today with you if we go back to when we were students let's say 25 30 35 years back we were not talking depression in fact we were not even talking stress actually there was no word out it was only in physics it was not i am stressed you are stressed that was not there what has happened in 30 years with so much technology with life becoming so much more comfortable than what it was how is it that stress has increased it should have become better because our life has become extremely comfortable in the last 30 years so we are the generation who saw the first landline the first mobile the first computer the internet the first television then the first tv serial we are the generation who saw all this in 30 years reached to 24 by 7 television 24 by 7 digital platforms ott platforms and social media handles we saw it all in these 30 years and in these 30 years if we had to draw a graph if we had to draw a graph of content versus emotional health we will see a direct connection we will see a direct connection so we started with our first tv and we started with one episode a week and those episodes of a tv serial also used to be quite satvik which means they were quite value based and teaching us good things and a very light comedy if it had to be songs also had a very different kind of a meaning and so that's the content which we grew up with and largely our content was only actually our parents and our teachers and our library in school and college that was our source of emotional diet now come to today your source of emotional diet 24 by 7 phone tv and internet which are all very useful but what you consume from there is going to be completely your choice the phone the tv and the internet extremely useful made our life extremely comfortable but then i have to be emotionally intelligent to know what to consume and what not to consume which means there is a buffet there are 20 items lying on the dining table there but i have to be intelligent what is healthy for me and what is only tasty but it's not healthy for me 
it's very tasty but it's not healthy so if i want to become emotionally intelligent i will have to stop or at least strictly reduce content which is tasty and start consuming content which is healthy just like the food so put this again as one more equation content is equal to personality and personality is equal to destiny so content is somebody's business they are doing their business they are earning a lot of money but it is affecting our personality and it is affecting our destiny so be very careful of what you are consuming what you watch read listen if the content we consume has lust ego greed jealousy aggression violence crime ridiculing people in the name of comedy songs the words of which have gone to another level altogether if this is the kind of content i consume nothing can stop me from becoming stressed anxious fearful not able to adjust not able to tolerate not able to forgive not able to let go it's totally largely to do with content so if you want to stop overthinking if you want your mind to be more calm and peaceful if you want to respond right if you want to be in a crisis and yet not be stressed only change your emotional diet only change your emotional diet so two things for that one restrict content consumption ye this what we keep doing on our phone or like this on our tv or on like this with our laptops this is not time pass this is not entertainment it is toxic it is toxic for your present and extremely toxic for the future for the future so the sooner we stop the safer we will be the sooner we stop the safer we will be so one is content second introduce healthy content into your daily life junk to we are consuming a lot what is the healthy content that i am consuming in my daily life this is where spirituality plays an extremely important role so spiritual content has faith compassion acceptance empathy respect dignity unity gratitude this is spiritual content so if i consume that on a daily basis i automatically start becoming that i have to do nothing else i have to do nothing else whatever i consume i start becoming so let's put this into your lifestyle let's start with the end of the day rather than the beginning of the day a very important habit especially for the students early to bed early to rise makes us healthy wealthy wise we grew up we grew up listening to this and we lived it also but today i find majority not all but majority children and youth saying oh but i can study better at night and so the time which is the time to wake up is a time when many children are going to sleep if we do anything against nature it's going to take a toll on our mind and body so for a good mental health so that you never ever touch a depression or an anxiety please change your sleep cycle please sleep at the right time in the right way and wake up at the right time in the right way is very important today a lot of business leaders corporate leaders they are part of workshops which teaches them how to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning it's called the 5 am leadership club they all come together to learn how to wake up at 5 am in bharat which is our culture we know it since thousand of years brahma mahurat amrit vela between 4 and 5 am is the highest vibrational time of the 24 hour cycle but many of us are going to sleep by 2 3 1 2 3 4 that is the time to wake up so now shift in sleep cycle if you want to be emotionally mentally physically healthy shift in sleep cycle latest by 10 pm we should be in deep sleep it doesn't mean we don't study if i have an exam we study but i wake up early instead of sleeping late you're going to sleep those many hours only you're not going to sleep more in fact you'll land up sleeping lesser if you sleep right but what time to sleep one is to study late wake up late one is to sleep early and wake up early same number of hours the number of hours is not going to change 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock which means 10 pm to 2 am is the highest energizing time for sleeping if i sleep at 12 i lose out on 2 hours if i sleep at 2 i lose out on all the 4 hours 
sometimes we believe nowadays that it's okay as long as i sleep from 2 to 8 so i've slept my 6 hours 10 pm to 4 am and 2 am to 8 am is a completely different energy in terms of energizing for your mind and body but you're still sleeping 6 hours but which 6 hours which 6 hours makes a difference so 10 pm to 2 am we should be asleep it doesn't mean we wake up at 2 it just means we sleep at 10 we sleep at 10 and you are all students so before sleeping you're still studying the day you stop studying or you have your holidays please take care that you disconnect from all kind of media at least an hour before you sleep do not keep watching the world news or do not keep watching any tv serials or anything like that just before you sleep because the last content which goes in it goes into the subconscious the last hour before we sleep and the first hour when we wake up is miracle time it's magical time use it the right way use it the right way but news channels highest trp late night early morning most time spent with the phone late night first thing in the morning very damaging for the mind so last hour before you go to sleep do not consume any of this so called normal content from the world it will go especially as students because you keep studying and then once you finish studying you get into bed you say okay now this is my time this is my time for a little entertainment and you pick up the phone don't do it just before going to sleep it has a damaging effect because you're doing it just when your subconscious is going to open because you're going to sleep so 15 minutes before you go to sleep please consume some spiritual content 15 minutes 10 minutes also is fine but 10 to 15 minutes just before going to sleep consume some very pure healthy divine content because that's going to make you the person you're going to be so 10 15 minutes before sleeping and when you wake up 10 15 minutes more so 15 minutes before sleeping and 15 minutes when you wake up consume healthy emotional diet it's very important learn meditation it's extremely important so wherever you're staying very close to you will be a brahma kumari's rajyog meditation center sisters are always there to teach us meditation there is no cost attached to it you only have to go for 4 5 days at a time which suits you for half an hour 45 minutes and they will teach you how to do it so learn meditation till you learn meditation let's write down a few thoughts which we are going to repeat just before we go to sleep and we're going to repeat when we wake up let's call them our positive affirmations because spiritual equation is thoughts manifest they become a reality sankalp se siddhi hoti hai sankalp se siddhi hoti hai so let's write down a few thoughts i am a powerful being i am a powerful being i am happy always so never say i'm stressed i am happy always i am calm and stable i am fearless and confident i am focused my concentration is highest my body is perfectly healthy and will always be i accept people people accept me and my relationship stand on trust and unity put an affirmation for your performance but the language will be i have already achieved fill in the blank whatever you want to achieve in the next one month or three months it's your goal but in your affirmation you will say i have already achieved that because sankalp se siddhi hogi and last god's power and blessings is the divine circle of protection around me draw this every single day a high vibrational divine circle of protection so eight to 10 affirmations you can write them down gently later on say them at least twice before you go to sleep just repeat it and let there be your last thoughts don't look at your phone after saying those affirmations last thoughts i am powerful i am happy i am fearless i am calm and stable my body is perfect healthy my concentration and focus is high i accept people people accept me relationship stand strong on respect and dignity success is certain for me success is certain for me i have already achieved and god's power and blessings is a divine circle of protection around me say this at least twice before going to sleep 
so that those are your last thoughts that are going to go into the subconscious this is coding of the mind we all learn coding and using coding we are able to create miracles in the world you code and you are able to create a miracle to do coding of our mind we have to change the emotional patterns that are there then when you wake up in the morning first thing repeat those affirmations again say them at least two to three times again when you learn meditation you will be meditating that is the next level of these affirmation these are very basic then at least 10 to 15 minutes of a healthy emotional diet and then during the day just rest because you've energized yourself you've strengthened yourself in the morning and in the night respond respond through the normal emotions calm and stable compassionate forgiving it will start coming easy to you because you have built up your immunity you have built up your strength it's like trekking it's like walking it's like marathon you gradually build up your strength and you can shift from walking a kilometer to running a marathon because you built up your strength same thing you will shift from being stressed to becoming very stable even in a crisis because you've built up your stamina your emotional fitness don't need to go to any gym for that but have to give yourself a little time every day and the last thing is the food you eat what we eat also affects our state of mind not just the condition of our body jaisa an waisa man jaisa pani waisi vani so be very careful of what you are eating and drinking because it is vibrations first and foremost experiment with the vegetarian diet experiment you just have to experiment with it because the food has vibrations what does an animal based diet has it has fear what is the state of the animal before it's being killed fear anger hatred helplessness violence and death have we ever thought how can the energy of death be energy of health for me it can be proteins but it cannot be health because it is energy of death so and what are the vibrations helpless fear anxiety panic and then violence and then death it's not good for the mind not good for the body so experiment 3 months with a vegetarian plant based diet second please restrict eating out this whole culture of ordering food going out to eat often jaisa an waisa man means we have to be very clear who is cooking for us what's the state of the mind of the person who is cooking for us so either we are eating in the hostel where we are staying in the campus or we are eating at home eating out should be one of those rare 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 things but today it's become a very common thing that also is affecting our emotional health it's also affecting our emotional health you have an exam tomorrow and today you are ordering food from outside what if the person who's cooked for you is worried what if they are stressed just have your food and within one hour you will be experiencing stress because it comes through the food it's called emotional infection so whoever cooks for us has a deep influence on our state of mind so where the food is being cooked and this can also be done in the campus extremely important have high energy words playing in the kitchen and for those of you who are eating at home please have it done in your kitchen high energy words which means prayers hymns mantra spiritual song whatever you like even a simple om chanting let it play in the kitchen if it is playing in the kitchen throughout the day it's like how food is cooked in the place of worship it's how food is cooked in the ashram high energy words going going to the food and water this is the culture of our country we know how emotional health is created we are supposed to create it and we are supposed to share with the world how it gets created so have high energy words playing in the kitchen no phone no tv while eating again a very common thing which most of us are doing no phone no tv while eating silent eating or happy conversations no distracted eating mindful eating and just before you start eating take a 5 second pause gratitude and look at your food and water and say your vibrations energize or say your affirmations energize your food and water with your affirmations look into your food and water or just create a thought you don't have to say it from here and just say i am powerful i am happy i'm fearless i'm focused i'm healthy i'm successful just say it into your food and water which means it's like adding your garnishing on top like that 
the water of your city has the vibration of the city. If there is stress and fear in the city, it's in your water. It is in your water. There's enough evidence for all this. You only need to experiment. Do this experiment for three months. 100% you're going to see a result. If you don't see a result, leave it. But there's no way you won't see a result. Spirituality is science. It's science. It's very scientific. The science of the mind. It's the science of the mind. So we are saying our affirmations in the morning, in the night before we go to sleep, three meals, so five times, and four to five times water. So about eight to ten times in a day. How much time total? Less than five minutes. Total time, less than five minutes. Results? Nothing less than a miracle. Nothing less than a miracle. Within a month, you will start seeing yourself calmer, stable, responding differently. And you can put an affirmation for whatever you want to become. These are just standard affirmations. Whatever you want to be, put an affirmation. I already am that. I am that. And start expect and restrict during the day content consumption. If you keep consuming a lot of junk, then nothing works. Then nothing works with you. And 15 minutes in the morning and in the night with healthy emotional diet. Simple lifestyle changes. Extremely simple. Start experimenting. Within a month, you see a result. Within three months, you're at a different emotional quotient. And you are ready to face any crisis of your life. Thank you so much. Om Shanti. Shukriya. Thank you so much, Sister Shivani ji, for enlightening us on enhancing emotional intelligence. And as we say in science also, a strong uh, mind, sorry, strong uh, mind can carry a weak body, but weak mind cannot carry a strong body. Right. So it is very true. And uh, I hope everybody is benefited from that. Over to you, sir. Ajik, uh, sir. Yeah, yeah, so no, 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 no uh, question from my side. But in case if there are one or two queries from uh, students, I think uh, we need to do so. Uh, yeah, Madhura, please coordinate. Yes. Uh, if there are any questions, please raise your hands. Yeah, Ashwini, sorry, Ashani Malhotra, please ask your question. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. First good of all, Thank you for a wonderful and an intriguing session. Thank you for your time. Uh, I am Ashani Mulhotra. And my question, ma'am, is regarding the uncertainty in life. I find that there are a lot of things that are out of my control. Uh, most of the things are out of my control. And uh, I, it might sound naive, but it irks me a lot that I can't control all the things in my life. So how do I come to terms with that? Keeping in mind that there are a lot of things that I've accumulated. There's a lot of conditioning, like my mom t tells me every day what is right and wrong, but I do not know truly what is right and wrong. So how do I deal with that doubt or uh, uncertainty? Thank you. Uh, there are two worlds. One world is outside and one world is in your mind. So there's an outer world and there's an inner world. The outer world is always uncertain. It's always uncertain. If anybody feels they can control the outer world, they cannot. We are able to control some things, but most things are not. So the outer world will always be uncertain. And there is an inner world. The inner world means how I will respond to what happens in the outer world. If we take care of the inner world and we are certain of our responses, you will feel in control. It's like the outer world is the house which is visible. And the inner world is the foundation which is not visible. The foundation of a house is never visible. But the outer, the building is visible. Now this building can suffer earthquakes. It can have a flood. It can have other things that are happening there. It might shake. It might crack. But if the foundation is strong, it will always remain safe. Even if things collapse, it gets constructed again if the foundation is strong. The roots of a tree need to be strong. Similarly, the inner world is our world where we need to be certain. So the lifestyle that we have talked about today, daily practice of meditation and spiritual principles will keep you in control of your life because life means how you respond to situations. Life does not mean situations. Life means how I feel about situations. Everything could be going perfect, but if I'm not feeling nice, I'm still not happy. 
and everything could be going wrong but if i'm responding right i'm completely in my control so let's take charge of the inner world we will be able to respond to the outer world with dignity outer world is uncertain let's make the inner world certain it means certain of our responses thank you so I'm, much ma yeah we will take one more question uh, prakar martan yes you can ask your question prakar um, and as, as so nice to say uh, you know it is very uh, obliged i'm very obliged to see you <laughs> and we used to go to your ashrams and uh, you know we used to listen you so my mother is a very big fan of yours <laughs> she usually listens to you so so she is she is asking me that how uh, if the thing if the terms with people around you are not very certain and you are not very much happy with them so uh, why, uh, how can you change them or how can you be mentally stable during the during that time making people happy or sometimes making yourself happy even if the people around you are trying to bully you Thank exactly you. that's what we discussed today that situations and people around us will not be our way right people can do wrong people can behave differently people can even behave unethically but if we think we can change people no we can't we cannot outwardly the easiest way to be able to influence people is to be able to remain the right way in your own mind when i am calm and peaceful and powerful my vibrations radiate to people and over a period of time it will influence them to change but we cannot change people outwardly we cannot wait for them to change so that's why what we discussed today we have to energize ourselves since you used to go to the ashram earlier it would be good to go again it would be good to go again learn meditation you will meet so many people over there who will share their life experiences with you where so many things could have happened in their life but they were able to cross it because they were taking care of how they are going to respond and not about how they're going to change people because you really cannot change people your mother cannot even change you can she change you she cannot change you she can keep advising you but you will do what you believe is right you will agree to those advices which match with your likes and dislikes so we cannot change people we need to be strong and this spirituality and meditation gives us the power to be strong to face those people and those situations thank you ma'am truly inspired <clears throat> thank you thank you so much now i would like to invite our registrar uh, dr neetu bhatnagar for giving vote of thanks dr neetu yeah yeah thank you Sure. Good afternoon, everyone. President uh, Manipal University Jaipur Professor J K Prabhu, Co-President Professor Anand Sharma, Brahma Kumari Sister Shivani Ji, Dean's faculty members, and my dear participants, I feel privileged to propose the vote of thanks on the special occasion of the fifth extra mural lecture as part of our decennial celebration. To start with, I really feel honored to thank our very special guest for today's occasion. Sister Shivani, whom we had been only listening through different platforms till yesterday. Today is really a special day for all of us, where we have got this opportunity to listen to her one and one. It would have been uh, still really great to have attended this session physically, as mentioned by President Sir earlier. Uh, it would be our pleasure to welcome you, Sister, and listen to you in person, of course, when the situation permits. I take this opportunity to thank you. for having spared your valuable time and enriching us all with your enlightening words of wisdom we assure you that with your guidance we will be able to find our path and energy to remain emotionally strong okay thank you thank so much just one Thanks. thought with your campus being a Jee. green campus you can also make it a no anger campus sure Bill's you know, you can have nice posters put up everywhere that our college, our university, our campus is a no anger campus. We don't use anger as a way to connect or interact with each other. That will make the campus even greener because it will become have very peaceful, pure vibrations. So we can also call it, call it a no anger zone. Thank you, thank you for your thoughts. Thank you so much. Will surely uh, I request all of you to switch on your uh, videos so that we can have the group photograph.
Thank you so much, Sister Shivani. Shukriya. Shukriya. Yeah. 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 Ye